Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, it's been a long time since I uploaded, uh, so I thought I'd make a video. I'm just taking Puppy to the park. Uh, you see, I have to make a video on the way to the park, because if I wait until I'm coming back from the park, because it's been so hot, I'm sweating like a pig. Uh, and I look awful. I mean, I look awful now. Look at this shirt. It's way too tight. You can see my flabby tits. Anyway, I wanted to make this quick video because I don't know if you're aware of this or not apparently Don Lemon Don Lemon worst journalist of the year Don Lemon stupidest person on broadcast news Don Lemon uh, is something of a hypocrite back in 2013 Don Lemon made a um, had a segment in which he Responded briefly to uh, to um, what's his name, Bill O'Reilly's assessment with regards to the African American community and the crime that's prevalent in African American communities, and why black people uh, populate prisons at a higher rate than you know white people or people of other ethnic backgrounds, and uh, and he was saying all very reasonable stuff all you know common sense logical stuff you know the whole talking point that you hear from people on the right indicating that you know if uh, you don't have a father in the household you're more likely to uh, be involved in crime and be involved in the criminal justice system and end up going to jail you're more likely to drop out of school and he went on to talk about how hip-hop culture rap culture urban culture glorified and elevated people who espoused uh, terrible values, and terrible ideas with regards to how to conduct oneself in civilized society. And it's it's like night and day uh, to what you hear from him these days. Uh, this came out after Terry Crews was on uh, his program. You know Terry Crews? He's... Uh, Old Spice guy. Um, anyway, he made some statements on on Twitter to the effect that uh, Black Lives Matter, essentially, and I'm paraphrasing, is in danger of becoming a black supremacist movement, and uh, that uh, he's going to interact and conduct himself with good people, regardless of their race, religion, political affiliation, what have you. And he made the point of saying, this is a hill I'm given the, I guess he made a follow-up tweet indicating that given the amount of backlash I've gotten and, and support, uh, this is a hill I'm going to die on. So Don Lemon had him on to basically, uh, you know, not so much chastise him, but counter his position. And, uh, and, and it's like, he essentially came out and said, look, Black Lives Matter isn't about all black lives. That's a, the central takeaway. He says, why don't you make a, uh, a organization called All Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter is specifically about police brutality in the black community. And, uh, and people were lambasting Don Lemon for that, saying, okay, so all black lives don't matter, only certain black lives matter? Because to Terry Crews' point, uh, the fact of the matter is, in the African American community, in the black community, um, crime is a real problem, gang culture is a real problem, and more and more people are dying at the hands of the culture than are dying at the hands of police. And he, he drew a comparison to the, uh, uh, I want to say Atlanta, the Atlanta child murders back in the 70s, uh, where like, 20 odd kids were killed by a serial killer back in the 70s in Atlanta pretty sure it was Atlanta it's weird because I watched that uh, Mindhunter series so I should know anyway over the course of a year or two years whereas in uh, Chicago nine kids were killed over the course of a month at the hands of 
gangsters. And so for Donald Lemon to come out and say, oh yeah, you know, Black Lives Matter is not about all black lives, you should make all black lives matter, uh, you know, organization to address those issues. Basically glossing over the idea that the idea that this phrase Black Lives Matter is disconnected from the movement. Because black lives don't matter to that movement. If you look on the Black Lives Matter organization's website, what do they talk about? Dismantling heteronormativity, dismantling the nuclear family. You know, the nuclear family that is one of those aspects that keeps young men from getting into criminal activity. So what you're saying as Black Lives Matter is you don't have a cause of reducing uh, violence, police violence against blacks. As a matter of fact, your platform wants to guarantee that it's perpetuated because without that without that that <laughs> without that cause, if all black all cop violence to black people were to end tomorrow, Black Lives Matter would be, you know, a defunct organization. They wouldn't exist. So in their platform, they're indicating, you know what, we need to dis dismantle the nuclear family. That nuclear family that is so terrible and marginalizes people so badly, but, you know, ends up giving them, after all is said and done, a pretty decent life compared to you know, the unwed mothers who tried to raise young men in the inner city communities where those young men find uh, crime and drug dealing and gangs to be more attractive than finishing school and learning a skill, getting a job and moving out of that inner city neighborhood getting out of poverty see Black Lives Matter doesn't want that they want to maintain the thug uh, culture the, the all the horrible aspects of the African American community the black community and they want it so that young black men never have to suffer at the hands of, of cops well, I'm sorry, the two don't go together. See, the thing about Black Lives Matter, if this is their stance, if this is their edict, and the statistics prove that their position is such that young men who grow up in a household without a father are, what, seven, eight, 20 times more likely to become involved in, in crime? They're well aware of these statistics, and yet they still want to dismantle the nuclear family, yet maintain the idea that thug culture, gang culture, hip-hop culture is an endemic part of black identity. Is it too much of a stretch to say that Black Lives Matter is racist towards blacks? It's like they want to maintain a culture that is detrimental to their people. Again, for sinister and cynical purposes, for the express purpose of perpetuating the cause for which they, uh, they are activated. And, uh, and they think that, you know, black folks can't exist unless they are emulating thug, hip hop, gang culture, that it's endemic to them. What's more racist than that to say, than to say that, well, you're not really part of this culture if, you know, you finish high school and you don't get involved in crime and you don't hold a job. Those are the black people we care about. So the Black Lives Matter that Black Lives Matter care about, Black Lives That Matter are black losers, black men who have decided to drop out of school, become part of gangs, and then resist arrest, and then die at the hands of cops. Those, those people matter. Criminals and thugs and losers. 
And anybody who's not part of that group to Black Lives Matter, well, they ain't black. And their lives don't matter. Anyway, just about to go through the gates as long as this guy can get his stuff sorted. And uh, I think I'm going to end it there. Thanks, folks. I appreciate you all watching. Sorry for the, uh, the intermittent upload rate. And uh, I hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, I'm going to have to do myself an ammunition live stream very soon. I'll get uh, Irving Twin on board and anybody else who's interested. I'd love to get a Canadian live stream going. Uh, Irving and myself and Kelly Day and Ben Tomlinson were involved in one well, a year or something back. And it was fun. It was good. But uh, I'd like to do one too. So if you follow me on Twitter and you're a Canadian YouTuber, hit me up in the comments section because let's uh, let's do something like that. Let's make it happen. Kenzie, I'm trying to drive, honey. Anyway, I better stop this. The dog's losing her mind. She really, really can't wait to go to the park. You all have a great weekend. Like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Love y'all. Take care.